In this video, we're going to see how to configure the IP address for Moodle. This is common when you install Moodle for the first time, or if you reboot the machine that is running Moodle, and that machine does not have a fixed IP address. I found the situation frequently when I was doing a lot of corporate training, and I was running Moodle directly from my laptop, which is one thing I really liked about Moodle, the ability to run it even from a very basic machine. So some symptoms that you'll often see if you are running it from a local machine is if you go to something like localhost, you get this message, and then it attempts to redirect, but when it redirects, it actually shows you an error. So let's consider the steps we need to configure this IP address. First of all, let's make sure we know what our IP address is. To do this, we just open a Windows Explorer window or whatever your uh, preferred operating system is. In Windows, holding the Windows key, press E. That will quickly pull up File Explorer as you see here. From there, go up to the address line and type in CMD and press Enter. Uh, that's a handy shortcut that I like because whatever path you happen to be in up here, so for in say uh, Documents, and then I go to uh, Plant Places for instance, and then I go to maybe Q like so. If I type in C, uh, note the path up in my address bar. If I type in CMD and hit Enter, it's going to open a command window directly to that path. Nonetheless, unrelated, thought you just might like to know that. After that, I type in ipconfig and hit enter. And take a look at this IPv4 address right here. Now, there might be multiple addresses. For me, I know that this laptop is connected uh, to Wi-Fi wirelessly. Naturally, that would be Wi-Fi. And I can see this IPv4 address, which is what I need. Okay, now... I need to tell Moodle that this is the address where Moodle can be found. So to do that, I go back to my Windows Explorer, and I'm going to navigate to where Moodle is installed. So C drive, then for me it's Moodle, under Moodle, server. Now we're looking for a file called config.php. You might think that's going to be under the PHP directory, but guess what? It's not. It's under the Moodle directory. So Moodle, and this is the second Moodle directory because we're seeing Moodle server Moodle. Uh, under that, I'm going to look for the file called config.php and then choose edit. We take a look here and we notice that the www root is set to the previous IP address and not the current IP address, which ends in 100. So let's go ahead and change that. So I change that to 100. Whoop, not 200. I change it to 100. And then a simple control S to save. And we can safely close this. If you are currently running Moodle, stop it. We'll need to restart. So to stop Moodle, we and this is only if it's currently running, simply navigate to C Moodle and then double click on Stop Moodle. Sometimes I will do this from command line as well just so that I can uh, monitor and make sure that it actually is stopping. Nonetheless, I have already stopped my Moodle instance, so I'm going to go ahead and start Moodle. Once again, I can double click here or I can make a shortcut out of that. Or if I, if I want to keep a closer eye on it, type in CMD, remember that trick, start typing the word start, you see it, I want to hit tab, it auto-completes to start Moodle, hit enter, uh, let's let it go, and we'll give it just a moment to get started. And sure enough, we get the confirmation message that Apache and MySQL are running. Let's just confirm that indeed this is running. And by the way, what you're looking at here is what happened when it eventually timed out when I went to localhost a few minutes ago. But let's simply confirm that we can access Moodle with the machine's current IP address, which ends with 100. Give it just a moment to think here. And sure enough, there we go. Here's Moodle. You see that it comes up under the correct IP address. Just to make sure that our previous experiment works, let's go to localhost. We'll see that it's going to give us the redirect message. Unlike last time where it redirects to a blank screen, you see here it redirects to the correct IP address. So moral of the story, to change Moodle's IP address, we navigate to our Moodle installation directory, which for me is cmoodle. From there we go to server. From there we go to the Moodle directory. And from the Moodle directory, we go to config.php, open that up in a text editor of your choice, which in my case was a notepad, and simply look for the cfgww root, uh, change that like so. If others can see your computer, if you're on a shared network, then you can simply give them this IP address and they can use that to access your Moodle. So I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more Moodle, Moodle videos. Thank you.